Okay, so uh, thanks guys for coming along. Lovely to see you. Um, I'm going to do this on one of you. Um, I'll do this on you. What's your name? My name's Lawrence. Lawrence, Lawrence, come on up. Lovely to see you, Lawrence. Thank Absolutely. you very much. If you um, stand here, um, it's a little tight for space. It's not how maybe I normally would perform, but it'll sort of give you an idea. So this routine just involves some business cards and a pen. Um, and you could do it table hopping, you could do it in an informal environment, or you could do it like I'm going to do it now as a sort of small stand up piece for a small group of people, maybe up to 20 people or something like that. Um, OK, Lawrence, thanks for joining me. This routine is going to feature three main elements. It's about the past, the present and the future. OK, so we're going to start with the past. I want you to think of someone, a person from your past that you've lost contact with. Now, this could be a friend. This might be a teacher. This could be the first person you kissed. I don't know, something yes. like that. But somebody you've lost contact with, somebody who is not on your Facebook profile, for example. Right. Yes. All right. And I'm, just the first name will do for this. So have you got someone in mind? Yes. Um, yes. I'm yes. Right. And it's a it's a sort of decent first name. It's not a common first name like the John or something like that. Um, it's similar, yes. Yes. Yeah. But it's a name and it's your, yes. and we haven't set anything up in advance. Okay, fine. I will, there's a pen for you. Take the pen. Thank you very much. All right. There's a business card there. I'm going to do this behind my back so that I can't possibly see. I would like you to write down the name of the person. All right. So write down their first name in the middle of the business card. All right. And when you've done it, let me know. OK, so I can't see anything that's behind my back. What I want you to do is to take that card, fold it into quarters. OK, fold it into quarters. So fold it again. And when you've done it, hold it in your fist. Okay. All right. Hold it out there. You're happy. So what we have is we have the past, a name yes. you're thinking of. It's clearly in your mind. And I got you to write it down for that reason. It impresses yes. it upon your mind, the action of writing it and you've seen it. So it's something recent. If you closed your eyes, you could actually see it in your imagination. Yes. OK, now let's move into the present. Obviously, time is about the present. So this is going to involve my watch. That is about the present. We'll do something with that because obviously the present keeps moving. So we'll do it. Presently. Yes. Um, and finally, we've got to go into the future. So I'm going to write a little prediction of something about the future. I think. Um, no, hold on. Uh, let's try that again. I think we will go with that. All right. I'm going to give that to you as well. So put it in your hand, hold it in your hand, uh, hold it in the same hand. And when you've uh, done that. We now have the past and the future together yes. in your hand, which moves us here to the present. Um, I've got my watch. I've taken it off. Um, obviously, if I pull the winder out and twiddle the hands, you will see that the hands go round and round. I want you to do that. In fact, just put those two on the table. Make sure they're folded, though, so we can't see them. Okay. All right. And what I want you to do is to hold it face down and just twiddle the winder of the watch. You can twiddle it forwards, backwards, whatever, but keep it face okay. down and keep twiddling. All right. Until you feel that the moment in the present is right. And when you do stop twiddling. I feel that's right. You feel that's right. It's, it's that, that moment. OK, yes. perfect. What I want you to do is to push the winder in, push it in. You okay. hear it click and it yes. clicked in. So that has locked that time. That is the present. That is a locked yes. moment in time. All right. So past, present, future. Let's see what we can deal with. Hmm. Think about the past. Think about this name. Think about this person. This person is um, male. Yes? yes. This is a person you knew when you were at school. Am I right? Yes. That's correct. But as I said, you lost contact with this person. I think you last person saw this person when you were about maybe 13. No. When you were about 16, 17, yes. am I right? Yes. yes. When you knew this person, they had dark hair, yes? Yes. Now, I couldn't have known any of those things, and yet somehow we're connecting back with the Indeed. past. Okay. Just think about the person's name. Think about that person's name. I'm just going to touch you lightly on the forehead. Just think about the name. Just see it there in your mind. Just think about the name. Andy. You're thinking That's about... Correct. Is that yes. right? Yes. You're thinking of the name Andy. Yes. That's fantastic. We've done the past. Let's move into the present. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Um, let's move into the present. And what I want you to do is have a look at the watch and see what time you stop, what moment in, uh, you know, in the present you stopped at. Yes. What is that? It is half past nine. Exactly. Half past nine. Exactly. Nine, nine thirty. 30. Yes. OK. Um, 
If you open that up, that was my prediction. Show everyone what I wrote down. It was indeed... 9.30. 9.30. And just so everyone can check, it was indeed the name Andy that you were thinking of. So thank you very much. Well thank done. Very Congratulations. Much. Thank you.